what do you make of this statement he says that aam aadmi party is the only credible opposition for the bjp and uh, modi wants to crush kejriwal according to him and that aam aadmi party is going to uh, rid this country of the bjp in not the next election but next to next election what do you make out of it and how do you react to that uh so first of all thank you for having me on the show so it's good to see the confidence of arvind kejriwal and all the very best to him for his beliefs let his beliefs save him but uh, the entire country knows and we know the narrative that is unfolding uh, for the bjp and we know the strength of the bjp today uh, in the electoral canvas of the country so therefore uh, you know uh, this narrative is uh, completely against what is the uh, you know the uh, what is there for us to see what's the reality for us to see Uh, so every party can have their own ambitions, like they had uh, with the India Alliance. India Alliance started off with the grand show, and uh, they had a motley crew of parties coming together with the only agenda of defeating the BJP. So that has again become a non-starter. It is you know from the day one there were disgruntled elements, and all of them showed their individualistic uh, you know kind of attitude and tenor. uh and the torrent and all and uh, so therefore aam aadmi party has also emerged as one of them which uh, really want uh, nothing but uh, a show of strength for themselves alone and nothing on nation building nothing on um, no agenda for uh, you know uh, for a larger agenda for nation building they cannot look beyond a few states it's just delhi and punjab and punjab we also know what is the kind of uh, you know the kind of uh, narrative that's unfolding there in punjab the kind of misgovernance that we see there the kind of lawlessness that we see in punjab so therefore uh, it is very well within his right to seek uh, to be ambitious and to set uh, lofty goals uh but uh, nevertheless i the, we know how, how the bjp is functioning and what is the kind of nation building agenda that the bjp has had and over the last 10 years how the bjp has proved the nda national democratic i mean uh, the nda has proved itself beyond doubt as to what its aim is on national on nation building and uh, beyond any scams and beyond any kind of you know corruption or any kind of uh, Uh, you know, dot on its whole uh, canvas. We've gone ahead the last ten years, uh, you know, ruling a country which is which has a myriad views and you know complicated canvas across the country. So we've pro- proven it beyond doubt. So I think uh, there's nothing to react on what Arvind Kejriwal said and the and the vote of confidence that he's got in the Delhi Assembly. Okay, uh, we are also joined by Chirag uh, Sethi, the spokesperson of Aam Aadmi Party. You know what the BJP is saying that. this that lofty uh, aspirations that's not going to matter and in fact aam aadmi party is shrinking that's what bjp is saying and is citing the example of punjab what do you have to say zafar thank you for having me here zafar in 10 years what aam aadmi party has achieved bjp took 50 years to do that first of all we are a national party in 12 years that's the quickest any political party has ever done in the history since independence one bjp is losing the battle bjp is scared of the aam aadmi party because in 10 years what we have achieved they have not seen you see ed you see cbi you see operation lotus everything is happened in delhi sher singh dagar if she can come on the screen the bjp spokesperson and say that sher singh dagar was not the person in 2013 who came and does the operation lotus and we had the proof we had made it public what action was taken on sher singh dagar in 2022 our mlas go, went to the cbi headquarters given a complaint that we have got calls they are telling us they want to buy us they want to give us money what has happened on that nothing they just want to create a mockery of the situation by sending delhi police to the cm house by sending delhi police to the minister's house and scaring us why what can they scare us with this is the party that has come out from an andolan we we are not scared of the jail we are not scared of anything you can you want us you can just put us in jail Manish ji is in jail since the last one year. What what kind of money has been recovered from him? A single penny has not been recovered from his home, from his uh, village back home, uh, from his village, from his bank accounts, from his locker. Nothing has been recovered till date. They just uh, do. They are just doing this because they know there is only one party here which can give a strong opposition, which can give a strong competition to the Bharatiya Janata Party or the Bharatiya Jumla Party. I usually say. that they're just creating troubles for everyone you see the ed till date 5906 cases in ed out of that charge sheet has been done only at 1142 you know how many uh, how many convictions have been done till date 
what is the point what is the run rate 0.42 how many uh, cases have been done against the politicians 121 how many against right. the opposition 115 so this right. is the bhartiya janta party washing powder you come here you become a part of us ek bhi bhrashtachari right. nahi chhodenge everybody will become a part of us and they will be right. clean it's only the right. arvind kejriwal that has not budged down that has not gone down with right. them and he's fighting the election he's fighting right. them in the delhi state he's fighting them in punjab he's fighting them in gujarat right. where he's got 14 percent votes in the first election five seats they have right. not they did not have any experience like that in the past so they are scared right. that small regional party has become national they are now coming right. to gujarat they have got right. five seats let's, there. let's 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 take this to Madhavan. Madhavan, what Aam Aadmi Party is saying that BJP is scared of Aam Aadmi Party, but at the same time saying that the government is scaring uh, the Aam Aadmi Party by sending police uh, to the chief minister's house and by using enforcement directorate. But the fact is that Arvind Kejriwal has been skipping all those summons up till now. Good question. Um, I think let's take a deep breath. Uh, Zafar, and let's not look at it in simply in terms of what has already been said by the rival spokespersons of the two parties. Let's look yeah. at it as journalists trying to analyze the what we call what is unstated in the entire game. Right. So there are three things: claims, facts, intent, and optics. There are four aspects actually. Claims are already known, you know, about allegations of corruption and all that. But we do not know the facts because no investigation has taken place in a strong enough sense to be taken to the logical conclusion. The way I see it is that the way the CBI enforcement directorate and other law enforcing agencies, including Delhi police, has been used, it is part of a very systematic attempt at optics to score political points where you know, by, you know, it's important to remember that Manish Sodia is not uh, actually jailed as in a convict, but is detained for in investigation. And therefore, but to the general public, this doesn't look like yeah. detention. It looks like conviction. So yeah. we as journalists are very clear on these things. But there is an optics attached to this. What Arvind Kejriwal has cleverly done is to understand the BJP's dynamics of law enforcement imagery followed by party, uh, you know, communication or propaganda, whatever you want to call it. And what Kejriwal has tried to do is to turn the table by using a clever combination of words or takes. For instance, the other day we saw his own secretary technically arguing over what the enforcement directory sent was a summons or not at all. Okay. So he doesn't want to get into this trap. The other uh, trick used by Kajri, Kejriwal, which is actually matching a very smart move for move on the political chessboard, is to actually play the victim. And he does it very well. For instance, yeah. he pos positions himself like the David against the Goliath. Or if you like yeah. comic books, he's like Asterix against the Roman Empire. So once he right. does that, uh, uh, you know, there was also a very an accidental pun when I heard Arvind Kejriwal. I almost heard it as Urban Kejriwal. Now, the point is that Arvind Kejriwal not only leads what is now officially recognized as a national party, because I used to joke when Arvind Kejriwal won, uh, became chief minister before in a very fast rise, that he's beginning to look like a political startup from the Silicon Valley. Now, the point is the moment he calls... Uh, Urban India has a very strong echo to certain logical arguments made by Kejriwal. And there is a certain, uh, uh, you know, emotive appeal. You know, the way he uses words, you know, like parko mein charcha ho rahi hai. So he is hmm. probably the only orator of the national caliber who can match Modi in terms of words and optics. And yeah. he's doing that fully. Of course, his claim of uh, being the main alternative to Amarmi party is only uh, a music because <coughs> in spite of every claim, there's a long way to go for Armin, uh, you know, Aam Aadmi Party. But he has understood the optical dynamics of the BJP and he's challenging it very well using the limited base as well as limited resources, but doing it in a very clever way. 
and that is something for us to take note of but yeah. the simple fact is that there is a lot to go a long way to go punjab gujarat you know uh, i think chirag sethi presented a very good yeah. picture which is in line with um, aadma aam aadmi party to you know they have a jack in their hand they make it look like a king it's in the game of cards but they are doing a very competent energetic job and that is very interesting to watch but i think uh, is up against odds as uh, ms vinita arirun pointed out very well you know right now all opinion polls seem to favor mr modi and the bjp but uh, from the words of mr kejriwal i can see that he has succeeded in one thing and he has not succeeded in another thing he succeeded in uh, blunting this whole enforcement directory thing he is matching drama for drama and um, the people have increasingly begun to see that this is more of a political action than a law enforcement action in that okay. i am increasingly convinced but uh, i don't think uh, i mean it, uh, am aadmi party's claim of overwhelming popularity is uh, uh, what you would call uh, based on sufficient data it is an ambition speaking the language of facts but uh, let us see where it goes there's a uh, yeah. there's a long room there, there's a very long way to go right and uh, ban chandra you would agree with madhavan that there's a lot of optics involved in it uh, in all of this you know enforcement directorate sending the summon kgy while going out for a meditation tour uh, going for some campaigning and today on the same day there is a vote of confidence happening as madhavan says uh, you know challenging in the same coin yes uh, see there is a battle of optics and perception going on between bjp and uh, the aam aadmi party ever since the excise scam uh, came into limelight the graph the perception graph of arvind kejriwal has been steadily going down uh, from the arrest of manish sodia then sanjay singh uh, then there was uh, the annual air pollution emergency then there was uh, uh, this mohalla cleaning scam then the summons yeah. and it keeps going down and down so kejriwal is trying to match up to the optics by playing certain things one is obviously he tried to resuscitate the the india alliance uh, early last late last year that did not happen then recently he went to ram mandir uh, and protested yeah. hinduism uh, and also this uh, today's um, uh, vote of confidence also falls into this so he wants to uh, project a positive image even even within this there are a small there are small games that are played one is the one is the appearance in the court through video conferencing rather than appearing in person which will be visually damaging for him so all of these all of these perception games are going on but if you look at the politics of it there are three things that are happening one is uh, with the with the with the winning of the confidence vote which is a no brainer he was going to win it anyway he is asserting uh, his political yeah. uh, dominance in delhi second is he is yeah. using his own cadre uh, which has been uh, sort of pummeled with all the bad narrative and third deal this is also a bargaining chip within the india alliance if you remember rahul gandhi spoke with apparently spoke with kejriwal a couple of days ago though the alliance is apparently not happening in punjab but the doors are open in delhi so this is a negotiation tactic also saying that you know we are we are the future and we are going to have a larger share of the bargain and you have to give